Hello, hello, and welcome to the Next Level Loan Officers podcast, the number one podcast for loan officers by loan officers with real originators in the trenches, just like you every single day. If they can go there, how come I can't go there? Well, you can. Like if you don't water your plants, you don't have future crops. You can't feed your family. You can't make a living. This is watering your crops. You have to find your community and you have to dig in. If it wasn't for you guys, I can tell you, probably my trajectory would have been a completely different one. We'll see you on the next Next Level Loan Officers podcast. Hello, everybody. Welcome to this edition of the Next Level Loan Officers Podcast. I am your co-host, Sean Zalmanoff, along with the illustrious and amazing Kellen Vaughn. Kellen, how are you today, sir? Oh, I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Good to see you. And you, you look good, too. For those of you watching us on YouTube, you can see how handsome Kellen is this well, fine thank you, day. Sean. This is very, that's the nicest thing you've said to me all year, Sean. Hey, you know, I mean, the year's still young. I got plenty more things to say. I mean, I say so many things that are that are nice to you. That's really actually a big compliment to me. That's that, right. That was the nicest thing <laughs> that uh, that I said to you. Hey, guys, so uh, if you haven't checked out the community yet, you can go to becomenl.com. It's free. You can join us. You can check out everything. We deliver content almost every single day for free. Plus, uh, we have an amazing program called Foundations 90. It is mm-hmm. also free for weekly accountability for 90. 90 days. That's why we get the 90 in it. Uh, Very creative. I know Uh, to help you be on task to make sure you're hitting the five, four, three, two, one strategy that we talk about to make sure you're executing a great 90 day season. So uh, jump in and, you know, we will deliver you so much value that it will make no sense for you not to upgrade uh, to pro, which just so you guys know, we're adding quite a few special features to pro and yep. the price is going to go up uh, very soon. But if you get in now, you'll be grandfathered into that price. You know, Sean, I had a couple phone calls with um, some of our community members over the last couple of days, and, and several of them have already upgraded to, to Pro and messaged me with uh, a comment saying, I didn't even know this existed, right? Like, they're like, oh, man, we've, we've made it to the promised land. So there's so much value packed into – uh, our pro membership, not only from the live coaching calls every week, but just the strategies, the, the courses, everything that's available is uh, pretty amazing stuff. It, you know, I, I've had people tell me like, dude, cause it's kind of hard when we're delivering so much, but uh, we do something live at least every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And so uh, on Monday, uh, there's something that we do called the lowdown and where some of the founders get on. Sometimes we have a special guest and, and just 20 minutes of answering questions uh, inside of the community. And then on Wednesday, something that we deliver called Level Up Live, which is a coaching call with one of us or some one of our uh, amazing contributors. And if you just plug into those two things and do nothing else, you will 10x your membership. So that's what we got for you. Now let's uh, deliver some more value here. So as you know, ATMs are our life and blood, actions that matter. And we want to talk about two ATMs today that we want to make sure that you are doing, thriving, and executing inside your business. Well, and Sean, this this is right on the heels. Um, we did uh, Ken and I did a podcast recently, so if, if you haven't um, listened to it, go back and check it out. But it's called "Winter Is Coming," right? And so, uh, if you're is Game, there of a new Thro- Game of Thrones about to well, no, not yet. No, well, there may be. It may, it may be the mortgage Game of Thrones <laughs> that's coming. But uh, so, but we just we wanted to make a point to put on the radar for everybody that hey, listen, it, winter is coming. There's some things you need to be doing now to prepare yourself for that. And I really feel like, in a lot of ways, uh, Sean, this this kind of dovetails right into that conversation, right? These are, this is a reminder podcast for you loan officers that are listening. And uh, these are, we're going to cover two ATMs today that are just really solid um, things that every originator should be doing, regardless of your volume productivity, these things can move the needle for you. And they're good to put in practice now as uh, winter is right around the corner. It, it is, but there's still apps to be had. There's still deals to win. And uh, you can either flamingo your head into the sand or you can take action and have business this winter 
while other companies and loan officers are taking that job as that smiling people greeter at that place down the street. That's right. So uh, number one, this is, this is something that, uh, you should be doing if you're not doing you need to start today uh it's very easy to do and it delivers results we we recently had a podcast with another with a realtor that i did a realtor of mine and and she even mentioned that a loan officer uh sent her one of these and it got him in the door for a coffee appointment of course she still sends me all her business but you know she did uh meet with him so these are, if you guys are watching us here on YouTube, handwritten notes. Yeah. And my, my, my handwritten notes, like you can just go to Amazon. You get like for 30 bucks, probably like 144 cards, I think is what they, they sell them by the dozen on there. Uh, mine are a little bit different. I got really thick card stock. It's like an old school wedding invitation before people didn't send wedding invitations anymore. And it's, and it's all done online. So if you're watching it, you can see that. And then on the inside, Kellen, look at my fancy envelope. So I, I have foil on the inside match That's with my upgrade. colors and then a little company logo on there as well too. And then my, my card at the bottom, it like has all my stuff branded on it as well. In addition to my logo. So <clears throat> just, you can take it as, as far as you want you now, if you're not sending handwritten cards, if you don't have this, don't wait, like go to mm -hmm. Amazon, buy these, go to Walgreens and, and go grab some and, and start writing them today. But there is a lot of power in the handwritten note. Uh, people don't get them anymore. Number one, number two, you'll have people that tell you handwritten notes are dead. Send them a handwritten note. And I bet you nine out of 10 of them will be like, send you a picture of that and be like, oh, wow, you're right. That's yep. actually something I should be doing. And it is impactful uh it's something that you can do at any point in your day whether it's right. the morning or night or during your insomnia when you wake up instead of scrolling on that phone uh you can send them to realtors but don't forget uh you can send them to past clients you can send them to nope. people who have just applied for a loan you know nope. i know that you're amazing at what you do you're probably the best person that you know at being a loan officer but Somebody else may not. They may have just talked to another loan officer that they think, man, right in line. And then you send them a handwritten note and they're like, oh, yep. boom. Can't believe how much better you are. Well, and not to mention um, that client experience when you go to ask for a review, right? It all, it, all of this goes together. And you bring up a great point, Sean, that, uh, you know, First of all, if you're not, if you're just listening to us on Spotify or Apple Podcasts or whatever, hey, go check us out over on YouTube because you can actually see us and you can see what we're talking about. We're showing some examples here. Um, but I always like to give a practical, right, Sean? Because I think sometimes people think, oh, yeah, it's a good idea. I need to do that. And then, like, they don't take the steps to actually go do it. I want to show you, um, I'll show you mine as well. I don't have the foil, the cool foil wrapper. But let me just show you. I'm going to see if I can get a good picture of this. Oh, there we go. Nice. So check that out, right? So this is a Vistaprint card, thick card stock. All I did was I had this little Bitmoji guy made of me and then my logo at the bottom. And I just put him there, the logo there, logo and stuff at the back, little website. And that's it. And so I don't, I think these are five by seven, if I remember correctly. I, I don't know exactly. And then I went on Amazon or maybe I bought them from Vistaprint too. And I bought envelopes that fit this card, but like, you can buy the thickest card stock. These are just called note cards on Vistaprint. Um, don't go to like the stationary section. Just go to note cards, custom design your own. I like them big. I tend to write big, and so these are kind of stand out. But then I also have some really nice other just kind of real basic card stock. Has my name, says trademark mortgage at the bottom, a little fancier. I'll use these smaller ones if I'm like putting it inside of a book or something that I'm sending to somebody. But I'll tell you... Um, Again, this is not really the topic we're talking about, but these little Bitmoji people, like people just love them. Like they absolutely love them. I just did um, the back of a realtor, the fold, like a folder that they use for their listing presentations. Um, they asked us if we wanted to be on the back cover. We paid for it. It's RESPA compliant. Um, but the, the realtor was like, hey, put your Bitmoji guy on there. We love that guy. I was like, okay, cool. So we used Canva, designed a little thing for the back of the, for the, back of the folder and um, used the Bitmoji. So it's a great thing to just use if you don't want like, like 
I appreciate you saying that, you know, we're good looking guys, Sean, but like, I just, just, I don't always love the way I look. I think a lot of people are kind of like that. Like sometimes I don't want to put my face on there. So the Bitmoji is a nice uh, option to, to have. So just that extra little piece. You know, the other thing that's really cool about the handwritten note, Kellen, hmm. is that, you know, sometimes it could be two o'clock in the afternoon and a loan officer sitting at their desk. They're like, I'm, I don't know what else to do. Um, I've called the realtors I'm going to call for the day. I followed up with all my prospects. I mean, I'm just a little bit thin on, on business and volume right now. But this is something that you can control at any point. All you have to do is go grab five or six or ten handwritten notes and just write some nice things to people. It doesn't have to be more than a couple sentences. Yeah. And so we want to throw out a little bit of challenge to you as well, too. Like, as you're listening to this, and, and hit us up in the DM. You guys know us on, on Facebook. You can find us there. And message Kellen or myself for the Next Level page to a day. Mm. And you can take off Saturdays and Sundays. <clears throat> I want to challenge you from this moment forward for the next 30 days. I want you to do two a day. So So shoot me a DM. Say, Sean, that's I four, accept your challenge. That's 40 by the time they're all done, Sean. That's, that's 40. Yeah. And, and I really, like, you might do five one day, but I really want you to do two every day because I'm trying to help you form a habit. That's and, right. And so you, you, you can do it consistently. And so the so, so sh message me in there, and then I, I want another message. I'll actually be following up with you 30 days from the day that you send me that message. Because I want to, I want to see your results. You're yeah. going to have a positive impact on people, and when you have a positive impact on people, you get rewarded in your financial world. I'll tell you what. Um, I'll, I'll go a step further, Sean. For anybody who uh, takes our challenge, so go join the community for free. Become an L.com. You can get in for free. Message Sean or I. Let us know you want to do the thank you note challenge, and uh, if you complete it, then we'll send you a copy of. Uh, Mr. Thank You by John Israel, which is an amazing book that'll help carry you on your journey. So that's a promise from uh, Sean and I to you. So jump into the community, drop us a message inside there. Let us know you want to be in the uh, Thank You Note Challenge, and we'll follow up with you, check in with you, help you, hold you accountable. And then at the end, we'll send you a free book uh, as a way to reward your perseverance. Now, Sean, I do have one question because this comes up a lot, and I, yeah. off, I actually struggle with this a little bit. Curious your thoughts. So let's say I got a, let's say I have a, a listing agent that I really enjoyed working with and I want to send her a quick thank you note, right? Um, uh, one of my two for the day that I'm going to write. So I write it all up. <clears throat> now for the listing agent, um, do you send it to their office or do you try to like back into their home address and send it to their house? So uh, one of my ATMs, when I have a, something go into contract is I call the listing agent and I uh, talk to them and introduce myself. I've already probably called them about my $5,000 guarantee, introduced the pre-approval and things to help them get under contract before that. And so this is the, Hey, I'm glad we accepted the contract. Great to be working with you. Uh, and I always ask them always, if I was going to send you something, where would I send it to? Yep. And then I just, if they give me their work address, great. If they give me their home address, that's great too. And I, that's cool. just where I send it. Yeah. So one I of the think... things that I do is I do include a note at the bottom of almost of all my first hand, uh, handwritten notes. Many times throughout the transaction, people are getting more than one from me. Mm -hmm. But it will be like, hey, uh, you know, shoot me a message, give me a text, uh, let me know you got this. Yeah, a hundred percent. Yeah. Again, that's just carrying on the conversation, right? Like that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to have conversations. We're trying to interact. So I think the more you can generate that, and I'll do even the, um, you know, I'll throw a $5 Starbucks gift card in there. Um, we have those uh, made in bulk and like we literally get them by like the box full, a hundred at a time. But you know, there's something to that too, right? I think just, uh, you know, dropping something in there, sending them a comment. Uh, all of this is good stuff, right? It's all by design. We don't do anything that's not intentional. And so, you know, be thoughtful, be intentional. You don't have to do the Starbucks gift card. You can do that um, for certain occasions or special things or whatever you want. But, um, 
it costs you, I mean, between the stationary. A Starbucks gift card costs you six bucks to make them branded. They charge a dollar a piece. There, there you go. But I mean, just the card, even without the Starbucks yeah. gift card, probably costs you with a stamp and the printing and everything else is $2.50. So, um, you know, maybe three bucks if you're buying foil lined envelopes. But nonetheless, uh, it's, a, it's the cheapest, um, probably most impactful marketing you can do dollar for dollar. So um, take advantage of it. Get out there, knock them out. Hey, join the community. It's free. Become NL.com. Message Sean and I. Let us know. Say, hey, I want to join the thank you note challenge. And uh, and we'll we'll check in with you. We'll hold you accountable. And then we'll send you the book as a uh, congrats gift. Look, Helen, so we've just gone, we've gone deep on, ca- on these cards today. And so I'm just, I'm, I'm going to give you a little bit more. I, I do the coffee card uh, just like Kellen. Yep. I'm pretty sure he taught me that idea. So thank you, Kellen. You're welcome. And uh, the, one of the things that I, that I mentioned inside of it is, hey, sit back, relax and have a cup of coffee on me yep. while yep. I'm doing whatever. And, and and I mentioned something that we they've told me in the transaction. I always, emails, uh, cards, whatever. When, when somebody tells me something, like even my very standard email to clients that they all get that's the same templatized thing there's a sentence in there that is just a blank that i go and i I fill in that's something about they're getting a fenced in backyard for their dog or whatever that it is so they know that i listened to them people want to be heard and so that makes them feel good when you say things like that so so copy it you but you put uh have a sit back, relax, have a cup of coffee on me. Mention something you guys talked about. Uh, tell them to, hey, let me know you got this. And boom, that there's there's your card. Now, we, we mentioned we were going to talk about two ATMs today, but like this has been so important. Um, and, you know, I, I know where everybody's attention span is. So I, I think... I think we need think to save the second ATM have, for the next podcast. Let's do it. We'll, we'll, we'll put a pin in the second one. We'll cover it on the next podcast. We're 16 minutes in on this one, but this was really good. And we, we gave some extra nuggets around doing the thank you notes too. So I think this is yeah. good. So get out there, do your thank you notes right now. Go to your current pipeline, send one to the realtor, the listing agent, the buyer, just drop them all. The seller, heck, drop the seller a thank you note. You know their address. Tell Amen. them, I mean, why not? They're going to be a buyer eventually at some point and uh, blow them away with service. So I don't think you'll have any shortage of people who you can reach out to. Join the community. Message Sean and I. We'd love to hear from you. We'd love to help you with your challenge. We'll send you a free book. Uh, we hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day. Join us on the next Next Level Loan Officers podcast. Thanks, everyone. So-